All right, what's going on, everybody? I got some wood that I'm about to go clean up that is on a driveway. I'm going to go up there, get it cut up into a big pile to where we can grab it with a skid sear easily, grab the tops and throw them into a burn pile, and then grab the limbs and everything that's good enough for firewood and bring that over to my wood yard. So we'll drive there and we'll get going. Let's do it. I'm using the 562 today just because it's still got a decent edge on the chain and I don't really want to sharpen the smaller one. So that's what we're gonna be working with. I'm not gonna worry too much about saving a lot of this because I got other stuff to do. I'm just gonna top a lot of this off and get the decent stuff and move on. I got about three or four different sections. Let's get the saw running. Let's do it. And this is the primary size of the stuff that I'm wanting to keep. But anything else that's really smaller than this, it's going into a burn pile. And I'm keeping the good stuff. We're going to be picking this up with the grapple bucket. As you saw there, I kind of went through and cut a few of the limbs down that were forking off to make it lay a little bit flatter. Just makes it easier to pick up and lets the job get done a little bit quicker. Still a couple other smaller pieces over here that I haven't gotten yet, but somebody else can follow behind me whenever we have more time, we can clean up a little bit better. All right, on to the next spot. Got more pieces of cherry. Then we're getting into some pretty decent sized walnut pieces up here. And it should cut up quicker because it's a lot bigger. Wow, cut as much. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little bit of a change of plans here. We're gonna cut this cherry tree down. This gargantuan, beautiful piece of timber here. And then also, this walnut tree, which is actually a pretty good looking tree. It's got this grown on the back of it. I don't know what that is, a yellow poplar. I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna cut that one off real low. Have it kind of fall off the tree just cause it's, I mean, there's no point in being next to this really pretty walnut. So I'm gonna cut that out, cut that out. Uh, kind of wish I'd have cut this down another day. It's created a lot more work. Got one piece brought back up. Got me a little water. It's gonna keep the trunk for some boiler wood. Maybe keep the limb up there for some boiler wood or something. Everything else here, other than the big cherry piece, it's going in the burn pile. Ugh. All right, I'm calling it good on this spot. Skid steer can come through and grapple all this up really quickly. Ended up getting these couple pieces though. Pretty sweet. On to the next spot where I was working on that walnut. And I found out here in this creek another walnut i'm not sure how dead it is i mean that's some more good wood too if i can get off right there in the creek and cut it there and maybe cut it up right there and maybe just salvage what's good on it yeah we'll see i've got this big old hackberry and then walking down a little bit further cherry piece right there limb probably just zap it off right there get that get down in the creek because i'm a psychopath and i'll grab that piece 
here. Like we got maple. Ah, this stuff looks like a little more trouble than it's worth. And I'm the king of doing stuff the hard way anyways. That's it. And it looks like that's the end of my, end of my working day here. 5.57, not, not sure what time the sun sets, but anyway, we're getting close to it. Let's see if I can make it. I thought that was a really big geode, but it's already busted. Might be the other half of it. Uh, I don't think so. Ugh. All right, we got all the pieces cut out that I wanted to use for firewood. All these other limbs and stuff, I'm gonna get them in a pile. Probably just gonna do it right there since there's a good little mass stuff I'm already starting up. So I'm gonna go back around, load up a couple little piles I got into the back of the Tacoma, see how much I can get in there. Then I'm just gonna call it a night, guys. Ooh. Got it done. There she is right there. Gotta get a new tripod. This rifle thing is heavier than crap compared to my other one. All right, but here's what I ended up with on this pile. The good little amount. Decent sized pieces. Mix it up in the boiler and inside wood. Going to load up into the Tacoma. Got this pile here. Got my mini pile there. Got my other pile there. We'll see if it'll all fit. And then, Got my pile over there, but fortunately I just didn't really have time to saw those up tonight. I probably could, but then I wouldn't end up getting anything out of here. So I'm just going to load up what I have tonight, get it back to my wood yard, get that stuff at another time. All right, let's get the truck. Let's do this. I really want to try and get all this in here in one load. Yes. All right. Got those icons squatting. Whew. <laughs> I'm still gonna load my saws up. Great. I might just throw them, in, throw them in her car. Back here in my boiler wood section. I'm just gonna throw it out right here and call it a night. All right, here's what it ended up being. A lot of this stuff is already here. That was already here. That was already here, but this middle section right here. So we got, and obviously not that piece. Pretty good wood. Thanks for watching everybody.